Hey, this is a demonstration of the ACI gear warning system. Uh, this is the actual ACI module. It measures just four and a quarter inches in length, three inches in width, and one and a quarter inches in height, and weighs just a few ounces. So it can be mounted virtually anywhere in the aircraft. The system works in three ways. It looks at the position of the landing gear, and we have a set of buttons here. In this case, this one is the gear up, which I've got set with the blue lights, and the gear down button, which is set with the green lights. So when the system interrogates us and the pilot pushes, pushes the respective button to the type of landing that they want to do, the ACI gear alert system will compare the position of the gear to the pilot's intended landing. So it works uh, off of the airspeed, which you see we've got a tube here which is teed into the pitot line of the aircraft. It's tied into the gear warning lights and also into a micro switch uh, which is connected to your flaps. So the first scenario I'm going to, uh, when you first uh, power up the aircraft, the pilot can test the system by pressing one of the buttons. Test OK. And the system will tell you whether or not it's OK or not. Now, I'm going to pressurize the pitot system as if we were in the takeoff run. The threshold on this one is set for 70 miles an hour for the sea ray and once we reach 70 miles an hour and uh, we have lifted off or climbing out the system will wait approximately 30 seconds at the end of that 30 seconds you'll see the two lights illuminate once they illuminate that tells us the system has now been armed we'll go ahead and pressurize the system now hard to clink the line. Okay, now we're going to wait for the system to uh, arm itself. It should be just a few seconds. And when that happens, because the gear is still in the down position, it will remind us to raise the gear. Okay, the system's now arming itself. select the gear up. Now we're flying along and we decide that we're going to do a water landing. Okay, so I'm going to bleed off the airspeed and at 70 miles an hour the system will start interrogating us as to our intent for landing. These lights will then illuminate and uh, actually flash and then we push the appropriate button for the intended landing. In the first scenario I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll uh, depress the gear up, or excuse me, water landing. Okay. I'm going to depress the button for gear up for water. Water landing, okay. Now the gear is already up and I selected the water landing button. So the system went off and it compared the position of the gear to what I intended it to do and then it determined that the system's okay. So it told us the water landing was okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and arm the system again. And this time I'll select a uh, gear down, or I'll, excuse me, I'll select a land landing after the system uh, arms itself again. But I'm going to leave the gear in the up position. Okay, the system is now armed again. And I'm going to go ahead and let the airspeed bleed off. Select landing. Now this time I'm going to depress the land landing. Select landing. Check landing gear. Check landing gear. Now the system will continue to do Check that. Check landing gear. Unless I do one of two things. Check landing gear. I change the position of the gear. Runway landing. Okay. Or I change my mind in the type of landing and I were to go back and have pressed the water landing button. Now I'm going to do one more 
scenario here, and that is where it activates with the flaps. Okay, now in this scenario, it doesn't matter what the gear position is um, because it's just going to start interrogating us, and it also does not matter at what airspeed the system uh, starts interrogating at either. Wait for it to uh, arm itself here again. Okay, the system is now arming. Raise gear. Raise gear. I'll go ahead and raise the gear. And this micro switch is tied into your flap system. And the user calibrates the flap position they want the system to start interrogating at. And so basically the micro switch then activates to ground. So the switch is wired in the normally open position. When I activate the switch, the system will interrogate us. Now there's one other scenario. We still have enough airspeed, so the system is going to arm itself immediately. There's one other scenario here. In the event that you want to operate below the aircraft's normal threshold, uh, in this case of 70 miles an hour, say you want to go out and practice flaps, or excuse me, stalls, and you want to uh, do several of those, you don't want the system sitting there interrogating you the entire time. So all you have to do is push the button and hold it briefly. You'll see it flash. Test OK. And then it will go into a alternating flash pattern. And that simply disables the system. So it doesn't matter if I let the airspeed bleed off or not. It will continue to do that. Now to get back out of the uh, disable mode, all I'll do is push and hold it again briefly in the system because we have enough airspeed will automatically arm itself again. The system will compare the gear position up or down, does not matter, so you'll get the appropriate warning if the gear is not in the position that you push the button that you for the landing you intend to do. Uh, the system is has not only the speaker here, it has an audio output. That audio output can be uh, wired into a non-muted or unswitched audio input so that all passengers and pilot can hear the uh, system throughout the aircraft. And that's the preferred way to wire it in. We make a wiring harness available for this. Uh, we have complete instructions on how to install it as well as the instructions that come with the ACI gear warning board. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for your time.